It's 825, and you see this guy every weekday afternoon starting at 4 o'clock right here on News 12, and now we've got him here in person. It's the one, the only Dr. Oz. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Welcome to town. First of all, we want to thank you for coming here on behalf of Children's Hospital. What do you think of what you've seen so far? Well, first of all, the community is beautiful. You all know that already. I especially love the surrounding uh, region, which is fantastic. Go out and do exercise, especially this time of year. So go out and do just that because it allows you to be healthy. And when you're given these raw materials to stay healthy, mm -hmm. I love the fact that people can actually can't take advantage of it, but not everyone does. And the beautiful thing about Erlanger is, and we have a relationship with the hospital because I'm at Columbia University. People right. don't know, but I still operate. And, and so I Every week he still operates. Every Thursday tomorrow I'll be in the OR. But we come down uh, periodically to Erlanger just to chip it in and uh, help different parts of the country and learn from different parts of the country mm -hmm. to see what's the best way to do heart surgery. But this children's hospital that they're building is unbelievable. You know, for 50,000 square miles, it's the only children's hospital. And, you know, the kids of the future, they always will be. This is a huge opportunity for us to make it a safer place to be a child. And you have gotten so much demand on your time publicly, privately. We want to thank you for coming down. The folks in there are still applauding for him and he walked out to share just a, a couple of minutes with us you're going to go back in here in just a few minutes you're going to take a few more questions then we're going to have a big breakfast right uh, a small breakfast uh, of course uh, probably blueberries and some uh, greek yogurt or something healthy like that not the thing you have in mind all right but now you, wait a minute wait, wait, what do you My what life. when you when you cheat i know you follow a diet better than anybody but when you cheat what's that one food you gotta have well my, my real uh, weak point is german chocolate cake now, wow. I, sh I should say that my formative years were in Atlanta. My dad trained at Emory. Right. And maybe it was from because of that. They like that sweet stuff. Mm -hmm. And by the way, you give me a peach, I'll go to a dozen. And I'm not kidding. <laughs> right. I'm like, I surgically cut them. But German chocolate cake, I, I go through the whole thing. The, 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 the icing, of course, being the worst part of all. But there's nothing that will be left at the end. All right. We're gonna, we've got one minute left. We're going to go through the infamous seven-question speed round with you, Dr. Oz. Are you ready? Here we go. Uh, the Beatles or the Stones? I love the Beatles. Bon Jovi or Bruce Springsteen? Springsteen, he's a Jersey yeah. boy. I know, he's your favorite. Crunchy or creamy? Crunchy. I like the, it deals with stress. I like to crunch things. Red or white? Red. The, the book of the Baratrol. The book or the movie? The movie. It's easier to digest. Football, <laughs> football or baseball? I played football in college. Football. And boxers or briefs? I, I can show you right now. No, well, that's okay. We're running out of time, but you successfully passed the speed round. Thank you boxer, very much. A boxer. <laughs> He's a boxer kind of guy. And he is here devoting his time on this beautiful, beautiful day to help a beautiful, beautiful facility, and that, of course, being our children's hospital. Dr. Oz, thank you so much. It's a great honor to be here, and thank you for having me every day. And I loved all of you. We will talk to you here in just a few minutes. It's Dr. Oz. He's live, and he's only here on News 12. We'll see you back in.